All right, so the person above put a really great thought into our heads, and this is based on a previous video that I did about xenomorphs taking on the traits of a brand new host. So this person above said, what about a xenomorph and venom? Now, number one, this is just an interesting concept. I'm not too sure how the two would bond together because we have to look at this in a myriad of different ways for discussion. So let's talk about it. So let's just say that we had Venom and somewhere along the lines, Venom became weakened. And let's talk about Venom as he is Eddie Brock for the sake of the fan fictional story that we're creating right now. And somehow a face hugger is able to get on him. What would happen? Would the symbiote stay dormant or would the symbiote fight him off? I'm thinking that the symbiote would try to protect Eddie in any way possible and reject the actual uh, face hugger from getting on to Eddie. Now we can also look at this a different way. Maybe the symbiote then takes on the, <laughs> the actual xenomorph as the host. Now in that case, I could see it working, but we're not too sure if there's any kind of rejection that is formulated in their actual bond. Now, in the comment section, I want you to put, how do you think they would make a successful bond? Because maybe there's something that you all know that I'm not thinking about, at least in this moment. But for the moment, let's forget about the why and think about the if. What if this was going to happen? Now, again, this is a really interesting concept, especially when you think about the powers and abilities of just the symbiote alone, right? But now we have the addition of, well, a xenomorph's acid skin that may enhance the abilities and durability of an actual uh, symbiote. But for me, the real scary part in terms of this combination comes in two forms. One, having a connection to the hive when it comes to the xenomorph, and also one being able to reproduce in some type of way. Now, we've seen a symbiote reproduce, right? Even if it's a little droplet, we've seen carnage, right? We've seen a whole bunch of others. Now, what if we get a symbiote? A symbiote that is combined with uh, a xenomorph that does not need a queen anymore becomes their own version of a queen and probably a king itself. But also we get connections on a myriad of different levels. We have the xenomorph side that is connected to the hive and we also have the symbiote side that is connected to all the other symbiotes. We know that there is some kind of connection from the story with Null. And we end up truly getting a king in black. And what's going to happen? We're going to get all of the symbiotes that are connected to basically their form of a hive, right? Uh, we know this from the null situation. And we have the xenomorph that are connected to their hive through their queen that may be able to override what the queen is doing and tell all of those xenomorphs to come over to a specific location. And number one, to merge with the symbiotes or just to like take over. This is crazy. Now I know my thoughts were all over the place when it comes to this concept, but I'm just so hyped and excited for the possibility of this actually happening. Now we know that in a cover, we had a symbiote versus Venom. Who do you think would win? I think, I think a symbiote will definitely win, but the combination of the two would be so much more amazing because there are likenesses in terms of their appearance between the two. But overall, I think it would just be a pretty cool damn fusion. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Later, everyone.